Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, in this topic, we are going to talk about a new feature in Revit 2018 for electrical which is uh, editing the circuit path. Okay, so electrical circuit path. So in this uh, feature, you can now edit the path for an electrical circuit to select the path mode and enter a new offset for the path. So Revit already enables designers to define the intended circuit pathway for downstream analysis because um, historically voltage drop and other electrical analysis such as uh, short circuit current calculation was hampered. Why? Because you had no control over the pathway and the length which is a critical input to the computation. So in this feature, Revit enables you to manipulate the pathway to your design intent. Okay, so let's go ahead and start it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I'm going to open here my one dash lighting floor plan. This is a very simple model just for the sake of this uh, exercise. So I just created a new project using the electrical template and then I just added some levels here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and select the systems here and then from the electrical, I'm going to need to insert an electrical equipment. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select electrical, uh, electrical equipment and then from the properties, Let's say I'm going to use this one. Okay, so let me just use this M lighting and appliance panel board 208 volts MLO 400 amps. So this is a wall hosted family. So that's why if you notice, if you hover your pointer along the wall, you'll be able to see the panel. So let's say the panel will be located at level one. And then for my lighting fixture, so I'm going to open the level 5 and then from here, let's say somewhere here, I'm going to place my lighting fixtures. So from the electrical panel, I'm going to select the lighting fixture and since I'm not going to place that along the wall and I don't have a ceiling here for me to be able to use the place on face, I don't have a ceiling. So what I'm going to use is place on work uh, place on work plane. So I'm going to activate that and then I'm just going to make sure that the offset is specified here for me to be able to see the lighting fixture because by default this is zero. So if that is zero you will notice you'll not be able to see your lighting fixture unless you specify the offset. Alright so let's say I'm going to place one here. I'm going to place one here. I'm going to select uh, Modify, select the two lighting fixtures, and then I'm going to copy it, let's say with a distance of uh, 3,000, 3,000, and then 3,000. There you go. Okay, so this is now my lighting fixture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this one. These lighting fixtures that I just created or that I just placed, I'm going to connect these lighting fixtures to my panel here. So to do that, I think most of you already knows how to create a system. You just need to select the elements that you want to be added to a system. And then after that, let's say I want to create a power here. So I select the power. And then after I create the power system, I just need to select here the panel where I want these lighting fixtures to be connected. So I'm going to select select panel and then I'm going to select this one. There you go. And then uh, select modify. So as you can see, if I'm going to click one of the lighting fixture here, it's now connected to that particular panel, right? Okay, it's now connected here. So if I'm going to hover my pointer over and then press tab, 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 you will notice if I click, it's now highlighted here, right? So hover, tab, and then tab, tab again until it highlights the circuit, okay? So as you can see, it's also highlighting this one, right? So now if you want to modify the electrical circuit path, what you can do is you can select any one of the lighting fixture or you can also select this one 
and then after that you go to the electrical circuits and then this is what I'm talking about edit path it customizes the path for the selected circuit so I'm gonna go ahead and select this one okay and then as you can see it's connected to the farthest device which is this one now going to my uh, floor plan one dash lighting so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to modify my electrical circuit path so you just need to insert a control point to add and reroute a segment of the circuit path so this enables you to more accurately route the circuit path and have a better analysis or a better basis of analysis both with the internal calculations as well as the enabling of third-party developers so to modify this like what I've said let's say I'm going to modify somewhere here so I'm going to click and then right click this is the one that I'm talking about insert control point so as you can see there's the control point so if I click all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag this there you go so you're now able to modify your path right your electrical path so as you can see the length here changes as well which is very important so the circuit length is used to calculate the voltage in an electrical circuit which is important for uh, wire sizing okay finish okay so if you want to modify again just click electrical circuits edit circuit Oh, sorry, not edit circuit, but uh, edit path. Okay, there you go. So you can modify that. Okay, you can click, right click, search control point, then you can drag, you can drag. Okay. There you go. So basically, that's how you modify your electrical circuit path. So I just need to select here, finish, and that's it. Okay. So that is our electrical circuit path. So there you go. It's a very quick exercise just to show you this new feature, edit path. So hopefully you learned something from this video. So in case you have questions, uh, comments, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Right? So as you can see, there's the length of my uh, circuit. Okay? So again, thank you for watching, guys, and have a nice day.